Hi, and welcome to this video. My name is Florian Salzberger from the design studio Salve Vision, and my work focuses on 3D animation, concept art, and full CGI productions. Over the years, I've had the opportunity to work on a variety of projects, including some of the Punisher 3D community challenges. Whether it's capturing intricate movements using motion capture, creating high quality 3D environments, or world building from scratch, my focus is always on the joy of creating and using new software and tools to optimize my creative workflow. In this video I'm excited to dive into one of the most interesting tools I'm currently using for my animation workflow, which is Relusion's Motion Director and Prop Interaction in iClone. I am more than happy to showcase what you can achieve in a short period of time using Relusion characters, Motion Director and MD Prop Interaction in iClone to get the results that you are looking for. Whether you're an aspiring animator or a pro artist, optimizing your character's interaction movement with 3D props can really elevate your projects. In addition to that, you can easily customize the motion and characters to really bring your idea to life. So, let's jump right in! If you're not familiar with iClone, it's a powerful, real-time 3D animation software. It's been a go-to solution for animators working in film, gaming and even virtual production. The Motion Director, which is a key part of the iClone suite, brings a whole new level of ease and versatility to the table, especially when it comes to directing your characters. So for this showcase project I wanted to create a medieval siege camp, with a lot of campfires, soldiers sitting around them and generally a lot of characters just walking around the camp, inspecting siege equipment and interacting with props. I also want to add some special animations using the Relusions motion library, for example two knights in a training fight and a few archers in the background. Alright, so let's start with animating our characters in iClone. Here you can see I'm using a Relusion character asset. By using my asset library, I can simply drag and drop the character into the scene. Now, we can search for an animation that we like and also drag it onto our character. It's important that you really drop it on the character, indicated by the yellow cube around our mesh. Now, our chosen animation is linked to our character. If we press play or scroll on the timeline, we can see that the animation is working as intended. If we want to adjust an animation, we can simply edit it on the motion layer, which is located right here. Let's just open it up and now we can see the IK joints from our character. So now we can simply select a bone or a joint that we want to change the location or rotation of, select the timestamp that we want the motion to change and position our character the way we want to. As you can see, it's easy to adapt our character's animation to whatever pose or motion you need, just simply place keyframes on the timeline for how you want the rig to move. This is a simple, but yet very effective and optimized way to let our characters move the way we want him to. Now let's talk about the really interesting part, motion designer and MD prop interaction. Motion Director is essentially a tool that allows you to control your characters and animations in a way that feels natural, just like playing a video game. It lets you pilot your 3D characters using game controllers or your keyboard or even a mouse. Notice how the character responds to the controller's inputs. The movements are fluid and natural, with the software automatically adjusting for things like foot placement and body motion. With Motion Director, animating a character is as simple as pressing buttons on your gamepad. This intuitive control system not only saves time, but also adds an incredible level of detail and accuracy. Let's take a closer look at how this works in practice. Now, let's say we want our character to interact with props. We can do that easily by using the MD Prop interaction. Let's search for the MD prop asset in our library and drag one into our scene. In this case, I want my knight character to walk towards a chair and sit down. We can see that our MD prop is indicated by this blue mesh and a sort of arrow, which shows us the direction of our prop. This is also the direction our character will interact with the prop. Now let's start Motion Designer, and here we go. 
We can move our character as usual, but also tell him to interact with the prop in our scene by clicking on it and choosing what we want him to do. As you can see, our character walks towards the chair prop and sits down. It's as simple as that. Furthermore, we can add more animations like glancing around, looking on his watch or other predefined motions. There is a broad variety of empty prop interactions, which allows us to bring life to our 3D scenes. For the medieval siege camp, I'll be using several prop interactions to have a few focus points that I want to render. Since we know how we can use motion design and prop interaction, let's bring in a simple block out from our scene. I've already modeled the siege camp in Blender and exported it as an FBX, just so I can test out where I want my iClone characters to be. After importing my 3D set, I've placed a few MD props, sitting around the campfire, looking at the armory in the tents, inspecting the trebuchet in the background, collecting some wood and pushing a cart with siege equipment. To do that, I've just simply dragged the MD props into my scene and positioned them where I wanted them to be, including attaching the MD chair props to separate FBX files of the chair I'm using for this scene. Furthermore, I want even more characters to roam around the siege camp. You can easily do that by using the Motion Director Crowd Simulation tool. You can have your characters navigate a scene, avoiding obstacles and reacting to the environment in real time using the Crowd Scatter tool. No need to manually keyframe every step, which is a huge time saver. If you're working on a scene that requires multiple characters interacting or moving in crowded space, Motion Director has you covered. It automatically handles the collision avoidance and realistic motion behaviors for each character, making it easy to create bustling crowd scenes without any hassle. Before we start simulating our characters, let's set the stage. First, you'll need an environment. iClone offers a variety of 3D sets and props, but you can also import your own. Since I want my crown simulation in the same scene as before, I'm using my medieval siege camp FVX, so let's use the ground plane to set up our nav mesh. The nav mesh acts as our base where we want the crowd simulation to take place. As you can see, we can easily adjust the area where the characters will move around. Since I don't want them to walk on top of the tents, I'm changing the nav mesh angle so that just our ground plane is selected. Once I'm happy with it, it's time to scatter our characters. From the content browser, you can simply drag and drop your desired characters into the scene. You can easily adjust the position, rotation and scale, but here's the cool part, you don't have to manually place every character. With iClone's Crowd Scatter tool, you can automatically populate the environment with numerous characters and even randomize their appearance, change the animation interaction frequency or decide which animation data your characters will use. Since I'm using only one character, I don't need to randomize their appearance because I'll do that later directly in Blender by adding individual armor parts and weapons. You can even set up different animation triggers to control the crowd's actions and behaviors based on what's happening in the scene. Whether you need a crowd to respond to empty props or have characters moving on a predefined path, Motion Director takes care of it all. One of the features I personally love is how easily Motion Director integrates with motion capture data. iClone works with a variety of mocap systems allowing you to apply full body motion capturing data to your characters. But what makes this integration even better is the ability to fine-tune and enhance that mocap data by editing the motion layer. You can fix issues like foot sliding or smooth out any jerky motions without having to go back to your mocap software. As you can see, the results speak for themselves. Once I'm happy with the character placement and prop interactions, let's record the motion from our characters by selecting the meshes we want to record the motion of and simply start Motion Director. After that, it's time to select my characters and export them as an FBX file. It's important that you select your software of choice, the range of frames you want to export and the size of your textures. Depending on your scene, for example if you need really high detailed close-ups or just wide shots of the whole crowd, you can adjust the export settings to your specific needs. So whether you're working on a game, film or virtual production, Reillusion's Motion Director for iClone is a powerful tool that streamlines your animation workflow while giving you more control over your characters. 
It's intuitive, flexible and packed with features that help bring your vision to life quickly and efficiently. Alright, so I've imported my character FBX files into Blender, added a few more details, changed a few textures and yeah, there we go. Let's take a look at the final animation. If you're as excited about this tool as I am, feel free to join the Relusion community for more tutorials and advanced tips. So, thanks again for watching this showcase video about MD Prop Interactions and Motion Designer in iClone. And until the next time, stay creative.